Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So I know you're looking at me crazy like, what is this on your face? <laughs> so I watched a, well, let me back up. I have decided that I want to start taking better care of my um, self. Let's say it that way. So I was on YouTube one day and I saw someone, I was looking at videos on how to tint your brows, how to do brow tinting. And it's not that I wanted to get into brow tinting or anything of the sort. I just wanted to see how it was done um, before I actually got it done by someone else. So in that, I saw this video pop up for Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Um, at first I was like, number one, this is not gonna work. Um, number two, they're not gonna make anything for you to be able to tint your brows at home. And then I watched the video of this girl in, I think, like Canada or the UK or somewhere. And she did it. And then when she took her peel off, because it peels off, right? When she took it off, she had brows. So once I saw the video, it convinced me. And I said, okay, I quickly went to go and order this product because I was like, okay, I want this product, specifically the tattoo brow. I want to see what it does. I want to see how it works, that kind of thing. Here's the kicker. No one in the United States sells this. So I actually had to order. I ordered it on a website online. Um, I'll put the link down in the description box of where I got it from. But it took about two and a half weeks for me to get it. So with that being said, when I knew it was going to take two and a half weeks, I went ahead and I ordered two in the color dark brown. I don't like my lash, my brows dark. I don't like them looking black. I know they look really, really dark right now, but what I have also noticed is with this product, even though it looks dark, it does not stay dark. This is gonna be dark brown. So, so far, um, the way the instructions work is you um, brush your brows in the direction you want them to go. You apply the tattoo brow, which I'll show you guys. This is what the container looks like. And then it's like really ooey gooey, right? I am not a brow, I'm not a brow fanatic. I'm learning how to do brows, so I am brand new at this. I am a newbie, but at first I was like really scared to do it because I'm like, what if I mess up? But it, it, really, it really wasn't that bad. The only thing I can say is this brow, your brows are sisters. They're not twins, they're sisters. So it didn't really bother me as much. So when I put it on, it was really, really, really easy. And then I just used a cotton swab to clean off whatever I needed to clean off. So, so far it's been on my brows now for 22 minutes. It does have to stay on. Um, the way it works is 20 minutes if you want it to last one day, two hours if you want it to last up to three days, overnight if you want it to last longer than three days. I'm not going to sleep with this on my brows but I will do uh, about an hour of it. So I did 20 minutes and then I'm going to now clean off the front part of the brow because I do not want to look like I have two black spots in my face. So what I'm going to do is use a Q-tip with a little bit of water on it and clean off the front part of my brow. Mm. So far so good. So far, so good. Uh -oh. <laughs> I got some tint on my lower brow. There we go. So, so far, so good. I actually really, really like how it looks already. So, we're going to let it sit for another hour and then we'll come back and I will show you guys the end result. Okay guys, so we are back. I am going to, it says you're supposed to peel them off. So it's been a little over two hours since I've had it on my brows. To the touch, it's dry. Just like that. So you're supposed to peel it from front or front to end. And I did this one first. So I'm gonna peel this one off first. Right. 
Okay, I, I don't see any of my brows on there, so that's good. Let's make sure that I get the rest off. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm pulling my own brow. All right, so there is piece number one. And I don't see any of my brow hair on it. Looks good. And then let's do side number two. This side is also dry. It doesn't hurt to peel it off. I see like one piece of my brow hair on there. So that's what it looks like. Just like that. I think I had a little bit left on my brow. Oh yeah, I do, I can feel it. Oop, sorry, got on my lashes. All right, so let's go ahead and let me just brush out what was in my lashes and let's brush them out and see what happens. Well, the piece that was in my lashes is still there. And then this piece. Only some residual that I left, but other than that, Looks good. So that's number one. And number two. So it says that this is supposed to last up to three days. So I'm going to see how long it lasts. And then if I have to do it again, I'll do another video on it. But I think they look good. For a person who does not, um, that's not a pro on doing their eyebrows, this actually looks really good. Um, I'd probably do this again, the brow tattoo. I'm not in love with the fact that it has to dry for two hours. A typical brow tint is like 20 minutes. But this is something that I would do at home. If I, if I had the need to do it at home, like I did today, but I mean, if it's two hours and it only lasts me a day, probably won't do it again. But if it's two hours and it lasts me like two to three days, I think I'd do it again. And I mean, with, even when you do brow tinting, like where you go into a place to do brow tinting, typically... Whenever I get brow tint done, it lasts me about two to three days anyway. So I don't see a reason why I wouldn't do this again, but I like it. I definitely like it. I think if I needed to like touch it up, I basically, you can bring this with you and just, if you're like, you know, indoors, you're not at, at work or something like that, just put it on and let it dry and peel it off. Other than that, looks good. So I'll give it a thumbs up. But I'll tell you guys in the next video, if I do it again, how long this application lasted. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and tell me if you've ever tried out the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. This is actually not available in any store in the US. I tried Target, I tried every store possible. This was not one of the items that was available here, but I will put in the description box where I actually purchased it. And I mean, I purchased two. So I'd say if you're gonna do it or you wanna try it, I get two colors just in case or get two of the same thing. The one that I did was dark brown. And as you can see, it's not dark at all. It looks like I drew my brows on with a pencil. So I really like that. All right, guys, see you later.